Well, imagine getting kicked out of your house for more than two calls to 911. That's what can happen in Maplewood, and now the ACLU is suing to get the ordinance overturned. Our Casey Nolan reports the fight against this law is bringing groups together that aren't always on the same side. He's live at Maplewood City Hall. Mike, this is a nuisance law that allows the city to revoke a person's occupancy per permit in a rare alignment, as you said there. Renters and landlords seem to be on the same page fighting this along with homeowners. This is just something that I think makes us less than we can be. And I feel like it's a moral obligation for myself and others to stand up for maybe people who can't stand up for themselves. For people against this nuisance law, it's a lot like Maplewood's famous city limit sign. May have started out with good intentions, but it's still backwards. And several of those who feel that way showed up tonight to hear from the ACLU and the Equal Housing Opportunity Council to learn how they can get city leaders to get rid of this law. Here's how the lawyers for those organizations say it works. It applies to both renters and homeowners. A criminal charge, not a conviction, can get you a nuisance citation. So can more than two calls for peace disturbance or domestic violence in the matter of in a span of 180 days or more than two calls to 911. That can lead to a hearing, not with the judge, but with the city's public works director, and it can lead to an eviction. And the ACLU says it has, and that's why they're suing. Of course, you know people will say, if you just follow the law, you don't have to worry about this. What about people who just call 911 for emergency services? People who just need help, people who just um, have more contact with the police just because they're sick? or because um, they're in a bad situation. Aren't those the very people that we want to protect? Don't we want those people to call 911? Isn't that why we have a public system? Um, and these nuisance ordinances shut those people out and it makes our communities less safe. Attorneys for those organizations say this law targets the disabled, minorities and women in domestic violence situations. But I can tell you in that room tonight were people from all stripes and all walks of life too afraid to talk about their situations on camera because they were afraid it might hurt their case. The city is not talking. They tell our partners at St. Louis Public Radio because of the ACLU lawsuit. But the, the city manager says he strongly disagrees with their position on this issue. Mike, we'll send it back to you. Casey, thanks.